God, we bless you on this morning, oh God. We praise you on this morning, oh God. Great is thy faithfulness on this day. For the psalmist says, early will I seek thee. Oh God, we come seeking you, oh God, in the second month, oh God, on the 23rd day, oh God. Two plus three is five. Oh God, your number of favor, two plus five is seven. Oh God, God on this day, it is complete concerning us. Oh God, we praise you in the heavens and we bless you in the earth realm. Great is thy faithfulness on this day. Oh God, we thank you, oh God. We praise you, oh God, for this is the day that you have made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh God, I thank you for everyone that's on sea La Serenity Prayer Call. And I thank you, God, for everyone that's listening on Facebook and streaming live. Oh, God, bless everyone under the sound of my voice. Oh, God, bless the families on today, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Let love, oh, God, unity and togetherness abide in the families, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. On this day, killing, oh, God, and binding all confusion, oh, God, we cast it, oh, God, back into the pits of hell for once it came. So God, we thank you, God, for a loving and peaceful spirit, oh God, over our families, oh God. We thank you, God, for a loving, oh God, and comforting spirit, oh God, over our marriages, oh God. Oh God, we praise you on this day. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you open up our eyes, oh God, with the very rock of God, oh God, you breathe upon us, oh God. And for that, God, we say thank you. Oh, God, we thank you for Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, for your precious and only begotten son. Oh, God, because of his sacrifice, oh, God, upon the cross, oh, God, we are saved by your grace. And we have inherited eternal life and salvation. So, God, we say thank you on this day. Oh, God, I thank you for Lamentations 3 and 23 all of the time. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh, God, right now in the name of Jesus, oh, God. Oh, God, heal every sick body, oh, God. Every one of the sound of my voice, oh, God. That's suffering, oh, God, with infirmities, oh, God. Disease or pestilence, oh, God. Oh, God, let your holy fire, oh, God, fall upon them right now. Oh, God, those that's suffering, oh, God, with kidney disease, oh, God. Oh, God, those that's dealing with heart failure, oh God. Oh God, heal them right now by the blood of the Lamb. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood still works. Oh God, the blood will never lose its power. So God, right now, oh God, let your holy fire, oh God, fall upon the sick people of the land. Oh God, for in you, oh God, we are made whole and then we are made well. Oh God, by your sight, oh God, we are already healed. For there is a bomb in Gilead. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, those that's dealing with cancerous cells, oh God, cancerous cells of the breast, cancerous cells of the cervix, cancerous cells of the bladder, oh God, right Right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, authorize, oh God, even heart oh evil, God, we kill it by your holy fire on this day. Third dimensional fire, oh God, third dimensional fire, oh God, cast it down upon your people, oh God, and burn, oh God, through every infirmity and sickness on this day. So God, we say thank you. I hear migraine headaches. We cancel migraine headaches right now in the name of Jesus. We decease and desist, oh God. Worry right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Mental illness, oh God. We command your mind to get balanced and to get in line in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you for your fire on this morning, oh God. I thank you for your fire, God, on this evening. They're watching in the evening. Oh God, I thank you for your fire if they're listening on tonight. Oh God, I praise you, oh God, for the second day, the 23rd day, oh God. Oh God, you are a gracious favor. God, you are a gracious savior, oh God. Oh, God, your favor is gracious, oh, God. So, God, we thank you on this day. Oh, God, we thank you, God, that we are going forth fast, oh, God, with fortitude with you on this day. So, God, we walk in authority, oh, God. We have combated the enemy, oh, God, on our behalf, oh, God. We cancel and we kill the devil by fire 
on this day. Every plan of the enemy that's trying to dissipate, that's trying to stop, block, and knock out blessings, oh God, we cancel it to the floor right now in the name of Jesus. Die by fire by the blood of the Lamb. Oh God, we thank you for progress. We thank you for, for, for process, oh God. We thank you, God, for fortness, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us, oh God, to move, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Forward fast in the name of Jesus. I hear it. Forward fast. Accelerated destinies, oh God. I speak it to be so to everyone under the sound of my voice. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, let every angel, oh God, dispatch, oh God, concerning everyone under the sound of my voice, let the angels, oh God, war and fight for them on this day. Oh God, we thank you for victory. Oh God, as we wave our victory flag, we thank you for victory on this day. Oh God, this day that you have made, oh God, we walk, oh God, we are victorious in you. Oh God, we tread upon the head of the serpent. We tread upon the head of the enemy. We cancel every witch by fire. In the name of Jesus, so God, we thank you for progress. I hear progress, for productivity. I hear it in the spirit realm. Oh God, we say thank you on this day. Oh God, bless everyone under the sound of my voice. Bless them indeed. Great is thy faithfulness on this day. Oh God, I thank you for those that's listening. I thank you, God, for those that's hearing, oh God. Bless them for their faithfulness and their commitment, oh God, to listen to this prayer. Oh God, bless them just because they say it, oh God. Bless them, oh God, just because, oh God, it has been imparted into their spirit and into their souls. Oh God, great faith, oh God, those that need a child, oh God, great faith on this day, great faith, oh God, without faith, oh God, is it possible to move for you? So God, we thank you, God, for an increase of a measure of faith on this day. I thank you, God, that you are moving on the behalf of your people on this day. Bless the nations of the world, Uganda, I hear it all of the time, Africa, oh God, Australia, oh God, Korea, oh God, bless these nations of the world. And God bless the United States of America. Oh, God bless President Biden, oh God. Continue to endow him with wisdom. Oh, God, let wisdom have his perfect work, oh God. Let wisdom have her perfect work, oh God. Oh, God, in President Biden in his administration. Oh, God, surround him, oh God, with wise advisors, oh God, so that he may know what thus says the spirit of the living God. Oh God, for you are Elohim. You are Elohim, oh God. You are the living God. God, you live inside of our situations, oh God. For you are the great Jehovah Jireh. So God, we thank you, God, for being our provider on today. We thank you, God, that you are faithful and you are well able to perform it. Oh God, we thank you, God, for taking care of that bill that we are concerned about. We thank you, God, for paying that mortgage, oh God. We thank you, God, for paying that car insurance, oh God. We thank you, God, for paying the car note, oh God. We thank you, God, for paying the health bills, oh God. We thank you, God, for being God. On oh, this day, we thank you, God, for giving us money for our children. We thank you, God, for giving seed to the sower. Oh, God, we praise you on this day. Oh, God, bless everyone that has shown it to see our productions incorporated. Oh, God, give them a thousand times more of a blessing, oh, God. Oh, God, let the seeds germinate and multiply, oh, God, by the thousands, oh, God, by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, God, I thank you for every partner of Sela Productions Incorporated. Oh, God, I thank you that the manifestations are here and that they are sure. I thank you, God, that every partner of Sela Serenity Prayer Line, oh, God, will experience a chiral to God on this day, the 23rd day of the second month. So, God, I say thank you. For the listeners, oh God, I thank you for the call. I thank you for the streaming. Oh God, bless everyone indeed. Great is your mercy, oh God, on this day. Oh God, I lift this prayer up to you in the third dimension where you live. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Quarantine to always being on the scene. Sea Productions Incorporated has birthed Sea Law Spot and it is hot, hot, hot. Flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire as Minister Giovanni Filia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension. 
the place where God lives, pulling down the Kavad. God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Selah Spot, the virtual view. God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercies renew every morning. Join us for fire, straight down from heaven, as we go to war through prayer with Sila Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Javon Ophelia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Sila Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to selahprayerline at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Sila Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good. Harder not your heart and allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing the swing. Fresh wind blowing the swing. Fresh wind blowing the swing. Holy Ghost fire. Hello, hello, hello. God bless everyone. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching Sila Spot, the virtual view, God's view about you. I thank you guys for watching. I hope that you all have been tremendously blessed by the prayer. I'm going to ask that the camera is fixed. I feel like I'm sitting way down when I'm sitting way up. <laughs> Amen. I want to thank everybody for coming on. We're going to fix our little camera real quick. You can bring it up just a little bit, woman of God. No, bring it down, bring it down. Bring it up, bring it up. That's fine. All right. Praise God for everyone that is on on today. I'm telling you, God is faithful. Am I right about it? He's faithful. I want to say hi to Latrice. I saw Shalita was on. Tasha Miller from New York. God bless everyone. I'm telling you, God is able. Am I right about it? We are definitely going to um, fix some things here. I see some, is the system, is it acting right? We want to make sure that everybody can hear me really well. Amen. I'm telling you, God is tremendous. And God is doing some wonderful things in the earth realm. I want you guys to be tremendously blessed on today. This is Sila Spot, the virtual view. Life lessons. We've been talking about life lessons. Am I right about it? And how many people know that life? will teach you lessons. Oh, I'm telling you. Life will teach you lessons, but God is faithful. God is faithful to his children. Am I right about it? Or oh, I come to talk about something on today. I want you to take the time to tag a friend. Invite a family member. Let them know that Minister Javon is on see last spot, the virtual view. Because God is viewing his children virtually. Am I right about it? I like to say this all of the time. Let's put the music down just a little bit. I like to say all of the time, people, you know, I know this new virtual world is new to us, but it's not new to God. How many people know that there is nothing new under the sun when it comes to the great Jehovah? God is all-knowing. The Lord has been viewing us virtual. Am I right about it? So God is not catching up with us. We are catching up with God. Am I right about it? This world is catching up with the mind of God. If you believe what I just said, I want you to put amen. God bless everyone. I see you guys are talking to me. I'm talking to you, amen. I'm telling you, God is wonderful. God is wonderful. 
I'm telling you, Miss Latrice, I'm still praying over your seeds, woman of God. I put your name before the altar of God. I pray that when you get your praise report, that you can come and let me know what God has done for you and your family. Amen. I want to welcome Shalita Jones Davis. God bless you, woman of God. That's Terrence Jones' his sister. I'm telling you, God is wonderful. I come to talk to you on today. I'm kind of looking on today. I just want to make sure I talk to everybody. If you get a like or a love, that's coming from me. Amen. I'm telling you, God is wonderful. I want to say welcome to all of my African nation. I'm telling you, Africa loves me and I love Africa. Am I right about it? If you have never been to Africa, I promise you, it is like an orphan finding its mother. I believe that's why it's called the motherland. It's called the motherland because black people, black African American people, we are American, but we still African because we were descended from the continent of Africa. Am I right about it? If you have never had an opportunity to go to Africa, do yourself a favor as a person and visit the land of the motherland. I promise you, once you go there, it will be very hard for you to return back to the USA. You know, sometimes when children are adopted and they find their real mother, it's hard for that child to detach away from that mother. Am I right about it? So I want to welcome all of my African nation, people that's coming on, even in the USA. I know a lot of times people say, oh, you know, you talk about the nations a lot. Well, I am a nation's minister. That's what God has called me to, not just to America, not just to the USA, but to the nations as an intercessor. An intercessor of prayer. Am I right about it? And also just to minister, to preach, and to teach his holy word. Because God wants us in a status of righteousness with him. And that's what we're going to talk about on today. How do I get into the status of righteousness, Minister Javon? It is really easy. And we're going to talk about it on Life Lessons on today. I want you to invite a friend. Tag somebody. Let them know that we are on. Am I right about it? I think you guys, I see somebody is uh, talking to me. I'm not sure. I'll be very uh, relational on today. But I come to preach that third dimensional message on today. The Lord has been speaking to my spirit. The, the, the Lord has been speaking to my spirit. And as God speaks to my spirit, the Lord told me on today, he said, I want you to talk about speaking life to your life. Oh, I want you to. I want you to tag that for me. Today is about speaking life to your life. We are going to talk about the tongue on today. Am I right about it? You should always pray and ask God. Say, God, God, touch my tongue and let me have a third dimensional tongue. Oh, I hope you understood what I just said. I'm not coming to teach milk on today. I'm coming to teach mystery on today. Because what we say is what we will have. What we say is what we will have. So this life lesson on today is coming from First James. Of course, everybody knows the third chapter of James talks about taming the tongue. Why must I tame something? Because it's out of order. Am I right about it? Is your tongue out of order on today? Are you speaking unruly things that set your own life on fire? And it becomes destructive and it burns up everything around you? Oh, I've come to talk to you on today. I come to talk to you on today. I promise you, before God saved me, people that really knew me, if you had messed with me, I would tell you some choice words. Am I right about it? But thank God for deliverance and thank God for saving me. Am I right about it? God wants to talk to us about what we are saying. God wants to talk to us about taming the tongue. He wants to talk to us about on today that life and death is in the power of your tongue. Your tongue has power. Your tongue has power. Have you ever said something and lied about it and still seen it? Because, oh, I felt the glory because your tongue has power. What have you been speaking on today? What have you been saying out of your mouth on today? What have your mind, so a man thinking in his heart, so is he. Am I right about it? What have you been saying out of your mind that is going out of your mouth, that's unruly and unacceptable in the Lord's sight concerning your destiny and concerning your vision. Oh, we're going to talk about it on today. I want you to tag somebody. 
I'm not staying long, I promise you. I got a schedule on today. We are doing our mentorship program on today, so I am not staying long today. But I wanted to stop by to help you. What have you been saying before the throne of God? Have you had a doubtful mind? Have you, have you felt in your spirit and in your soul that what God has promised you cannot come to pass? Have you been speaking those doubtful thoughts out of your mind and that's why you're not seeing the manifestation of his glory and of his blessings in your life? Oh, we're going to talk about it on today. We're going to talk about it. For, look, Proverbs 23 and 7 says, so a man thinking in his heart, paraphrase, his mind, so is he. Whatever you believe you are, that's what you shall be. Whatever you believe you are, that's what you will be. When you call yourself ugly, then you will become ugly, I promise you. If you call yourself joyful, then you are walking around with a joyful and glad spirit. If you call yourself broke, then you shall be broke all the days of your life. Huh? I'm talking to you on today. But if you say to yourself, I am the head and not the tail, then you shall be the head and not the tail. Oh, I want to talk to you on today. Because God says it's time to it's time to guard the tongue. It's time to tame the tongue. The Bible says that no human can tame your tongue. Do you know why no human can tame the tongue? Because everyone has a choice to say what they want to say. I come to tell you on today to speak life to your life. Am I right about it? Oh, I want you. I'm going to change the music. I want you guys to get what I'm saying on today. I'm not. I'm going to try to stay calm because I want you to catch what the Lord is saying. Even if you don't speak it out of your mouth and you think it, sooner or later you shall start speaking it. Am I right about it? I come to help you with your mind on today. I come to help you with your imagination and your thoughts on today. God is a mental God. God is not an emotional God. The Lord is a mental God. And everything that you think in your mind, the Lord can see it. Everything that you think in your mind, God can see it. If God has promised you a thing, is he not well able to perform it? Yes, he is. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, life and death is in the power of your tongue. You can speak life to your life or you can speak death to your life. But whatever you speak, you shall eat the fruit thereof. Or if you, if you caught what I just said, I want you to say like Shalita, amen. Whatever you say out of your mouth, it shall come to pass. For those of you that's married and your spouse, you think your spouse is cheating and it may not be, but you keep saying it over and over. After a while, I promise you, they will start cheating because out of your mouth is life. Am I right about it? Out of your mouth, you speak a life to your life. Now, it's your decision on what kind of life you give your life. Oh, I like that. I like that, Miss Andrea. It's your decision on what kind of life you give your own life. You are the captain of the ship. Am I right about it? God is the Holy Father. God has given you a directive to speak life to your life. To speak positive about your life. It doesn't matter what you see. Well, Minister Javon, I'm sick in my body. I keep praying and asking God to heal me, but I'm still sick. God said, keep speaking life. Because life and death is in the power of your tongue. Oh, I want you to catch it on today. I want you to speak a wonderful life. I decree and declare that this day shall be the best day of your life. I want you to start speaking positive around you. Everything negative that you see, I want you to start speaking positive about your family. I want you to start speaking positive about your spouse. I don't care if they this or that. You continue to speak life to your own life. Your spouse is inside of your life. So when you speak life to your own life, the person that you're married to, they are included in that life. I come to help you on today. God is ready to show you his glory. 
What, what did he tell Adam? He told Adam to name the animals. Am I right about it? And when Adam named the animals, when he spoke it into existence, the animals were named. Am I right about it? God spoke the world into existence in seven days. In six days, he rested on the seventh. God wants you to know that you can shape your life with your mouth. Everything around you that you don't like, you can shape it with your mouth. You have to speak life to your life. There is power in what you say. Are you speaking positively about the people that's in your family? Are you speaking positively about your pastor at the church? Are you speaking positively about your boss at the job? Are you speaking positively about your finances? Are you speaking positively about your health? Are you speaking positively about your children? Oh, I want to talk to the, the parents in a little bit because parents can speak curses over their children. You can speak a curse over your own child. When God blesses you to become a parent, it is only because he is trusting you with another life in this earth realm. Oh, I want you to catch. I like that. When you become a parent, it's only because God is trusting you with another life in the earth realm. So you're not supposed to speak negatively to your children. If God has entrusted you as a parent with another life in the earth realm, then you are supposed to speak life to the life of your child. Oh, that they will have a glorious life. Am I right about it? Are you speaking life to your children? Or are you telling them everything negative about this, themselves? Oh, I'm talking on today. My child is locked up. Did you speak your child into the prison? Did you tell your child that they never would go, was going to be anything? Did you always speak neg negatively to your child? Come on, parents. If God has blessed you with a seed in the earth ring, I promise you, if God has blessed you, with a seed in the earth realm. It's because he is placing another life into the earth realm. Am I right about it? And if God gives you another life, it is your job, it is your duty to speak life to the life God has given you. You don't just speak life to your own life. You speak life to your children's life. God is life. God says, I am the bread of life. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. What are you telling me? So I just want to speak to everybody on today. God says speak life to your life. You have to speak life to your life. You have to speak life to the life that God gives you women from out of your womb. From out of the fruit of your womb. The fruit of your womb. Fruit. Fruit. Produce. Productivity. God bless you to birth a life. It's your job as a parent to speak life to a life. To speak a life to people that you meet. People that you meet throughout the day, on your job, or wherever you are. You are supposed to be speaking life to other people. God says, I am the bread of life. I want you to follow me, and I want you to catch me. I want you to follow me, and I want you to catch me. God says, I am the bread of life. So when you speak life to others, you are speaking the word of God. Oh, you know I was going there. Everything goes back to the word of God. Everything about us, we are made in his likeness. Am I right about it? God says speak life to your life. You speak the word of God to your own life. I don't care what's going on around you. I don't care what you see. God says it's what I say. What I said in my words, because the Lord says, I am the bread of life. Oh, I want you to catch it on today. I want you to catch it on today. You got to follow me on today. You have to follow me on today. Oh, I feel the glow. I felt the glory hit me just now. I felt the charge hit my spirit just now. God fire is falling upon this earth like never before. If you are watching me, God fire, I'm talking about his holy fire. It's falling upon the earth like never before. And God is trying to get his remnant ready to battle, to battle with the realms of darkness. God 
God says, I need you to speak light to your life. God says, I need you to speak who that I called you to be. God has called you to be a minister. Some of you are called to be a school teacher. Some of you are called to be a health care provider. Some of you are called to be a prophet to the nations. Some of you are called to be an administrator. Some of you are called to be a what? What is that? A veterinarian for pets. Wherever God has called you to be, you have to speak life to a life. I come to ignite your fire on today. I come to help you to shape the atmospheric surroundings around you. If you want something to change, you have to speak to it. Hi, Ezekiel. Can these dry bones live? Oh, my God, from Zion. I want you to understand what I'm saying on today. God is ready for you to speak life to your own life. God is ready for you to speak life to your children's life. Speak life to your spouse's life. If you're single, then you should be spending all of your time with the Lord. God should be equipping you and preparing you to speak to the nation. Am I right about it? I want you to catch what I'm saying on today. I feel like people are just, they just, they're just looking at me. Don't come on here just to look at me. God is speaking a word on today because the Lord wants your life to get better. God wants you to experience the abundance life that he has for you. God is tired of the devil stealing from you. Am I right about it? God is tired of the enemy defeating you because of your own self. I want you to stop right now and say, God, whatever I have said that was contradictory to your word concerning my life, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. The enemy knows that if you speak a thing, if you speak a thing, it is a negative thing. He knows that it can germinate because of the scripture. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Third verse, third chapter of James. No human can, can tame the tongue. It's an unruly evil. Your tongue is a small thing in your, on your body. But it can light a fire in your life if you speak the wrong thing. Go read it. James, the third chapter. Think about a forest that burns. What does James say? It was a small mess that started that fire and it burned up the whole farm. Your mouth, your, your tongue can burn up your whole life and everybody else around you. You have to be careful what you say. You got to be careful what you say. If you want something, say I want it. If you don't want something, then say I don't want it. There's no medium ground or gray area when you're speaking things in your life. It's either a yes or a no. Am I right about it? Oh, I'm talking on today. Some of us wonder why our lives turn out the way that it, it turns out. Some of us wonder why we live from check to check. Some of us wonder why we live in lack. It's because of our minds. If you think that you're poor, then you shall be poor. If you think that you are poor, you shall be poor. If you think that you are in lack, you will act like you are in lack. I want you to understand what I'm saying on today. I want you to start speaking life to your life. I want you to start speaking life to the people that's around you. What is life? Life is the word of God. The bread of life. Am I right about it? I want you to help yourself on today. Everything around you that you don't like, you speak to that thing. You ignite a fire when you speak to things. Am I right about it? You can have a world of positivity. That's right. That's right, Shalita. You have to be specific. You want something to come into your life? You be specific about that thing. You can speak your whole existence. You can speak your whole world. The world is a stage for you. God is the director and you are the actor or the actress. The script that you perform will be written by your mouth. Am I right about it? I want you to understand what I'm saying. Especially, I feel the parents in my spirit. Stop telling your children that they are this and that and tell them that they are kings and queens of the kingdom. 
that they are a royal priesthood, my God, from Zion, and that they will reign in the gifts and the talents that God has given them through his purpose and the vision for their lives. You have to speak life to your life first. You have to speak life to your children's life for the people that have kids. And you got to speak life to your spouse's life. You have to speak life, single people, to the people that you meet. God says speak life. When you speak life, God says you are speaking me. Oh, I like that. God is in everything. God is in everything. God's eternal name is I am. Am I right about it? When you introduce yourself, you say, I am Javon Ophelia Butler, my God from Zion. Some of us like to say, my surname is Mr. No. Your surname is I am because God, we are made in his image and we are made in his likeness. Every time you introduce yourself to someone, you say, I am, and then you say your name. You are always introducing God to someone else. Oh, I hope you caught that mystery. That was a nugget. Because God is the great creator. God created us in his likeness. Am I right about it? I want to thank my bishop for coming on. Bishop Antoine Michael Jasmine, prophet to the nation. Welcome, man of God. God is speaking to his people on today. God says, I'm ready for you to be ready. Remember I used to minister that? God says, I'm ready for you to be ready. God says, I'm ready for you to ignite your own fire. The spirit of awakening needs to fall upon you. You have to speak life. The spirit of awakening. I declare and decree that the spirit of awakening falls on you on today. That you will become lively. That your life will come alive in the name of Jesus. Oh, I hope that you understand what I'm saying. I want you to catch what I'm saying. Because God is a faithful God. Great is thy faithfulness. I'm getting ready to get off. The Lord wants you to know on today that life and death is in the power of your tongue. Everything that you say, you will eat the fruit thereof. When you decide to transition to the other side, when you just when God decides to take you, when the Lord decides to ship you out of here, everything that you say out of your mouth, you will have to give an account to it. Do you know it? Did you know it? You have to be careful what you say about people. You got to be real careful. God does not have partiality. The Lord loves all of his children, whether we are right. Or whether we are wrong. You got to be real careful when you talk about people. You got to be specific when you comment on a thing. And even after you comment, you say, God, did I please you with that comment? If I messed up, God forgive me. I was having a conversation on yesterday. And I was being so ever careful of how I said things because I know that the Lord is watching me. Anytime I hang up a call, I want to be pleasing in his sight. You have to be careful how you say things. You have to exemplify God in everything that you do, especially on what you say. What you say, it'll come back to get you. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. When you talk ill about a man or a woman of God, don't you know you recall the fire? Upon your own head. Your tongue can, de can destroy you. And your tongue can destroy your family. Your tongue can destroy your job. How? If you got an anger problem, you can't handle things. You start speaking and the boss gets upset. Then he say like Donald Trump, you're fired. Am I right about it? I want you to catch what I'm saying. The tongue. Is an unruly evil. That's what James the third chapter called it. I'm getting ready to get off. I want you to watch what you say. And I want you to watch how you say it. Sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. You could be saying the right thing, but with the wrong attitude. And it could be perceived as negative. You have to watch. 
That's what you say, people. God's people. God's people in his land. That's why my prayer flyer, it says, heal the nations so that we can heal the nations. Who are the nations? The nations are not a place. The nations is not a place. The nations are a people. God has to heal. He has to heal us first. Then we can heal our land. We can pray till we're blue in the face. But if the people that's praying, the people that's in the earth realm, have a dutifulness of trying to be evil and wicked, then the land will never be healed. You will just have a wicked land. Am I right about it? God switching that thing. God wants your tongue healed on today. You want to see healing in the land? Then you start with yourself. They got too many people praying they got problems. All of us fall short of the glory of God. But is God glory in his capacity really living in you? Has God anointed you with the power to deliver people from their wickedness? Say, God, deliver me. Say, God, heal me. Say, God, heal me from speaking negatively about my own self. God, teach me how to speak life to my life. God, teach me how, despite of what my spouse might do or my significant other, help me to have a forgiving spirit and to still speak life to their life. God, help me to speak life to the life that you gave me through my children. Heal the land? No, ask God to heal you. And because you are healed, then the land will become healed. If I write about it, if you watch my things come on Facebook, I'm not just trying to have another flyer. It's always a message from the third dimension of God. Heal the nation so that we can heal the nation. We are the nation. God says it starts with us. You know how the old people used to say that behavior starts at home. Everything concerning you starts with you. It's not anybody's fault except yours if your life is not right. The people that you have in your life. You can't say, oh, it's, it's, it's his fault or her fault that my life is like this. No, 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 no. Everybody has a choice of who they allow into their life. If, if the enemy wants to ruin you, he'll use a person. When God wanted to save a nation, he used one person. Are you that one person on today that's going to speak light to your own life? That you can start witnessing and experiencing the Kairos moment that come out of the third dimension of God. That comes from the fiery coals of heaven. The anointing. The anointing in the spirit of God. That you would witness because you are speaking life to your life. You should pray this every day. Say, God, give me third dimensional sight. That I may see the things of the third dimension. God, give me third dimensional ears. That I may hear in the third dimensional realm. God, give me a third dimensional tongue. That I may pray and preach and prophesy the word of God. I want you to understand what I'm saying. Everybody's gift is different. But God has anointed you specially for someone. And for a nation of people. We run around in circles. Living day by day. And they got souls waiting on you. To meet you so that they can be saved. Do you know that the world is going to end? After the last soul is saved? God is on a time clock concerning your life. We are but a vapor in this dispensation. And in this time. You must speak life to your life. So that you can see the results that you're looking for. When you pray, say, God, teach me how to pray. So that when you pray, you do not pray amiss. How do I pray, Minister Javon? You pray from the word of God. Am I right about it? Well, I don't know a word to pray from. Start in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Look into the Psalms and pray. You want protections from your enemy? Go to Psalm 69. You want God to answer your prayers out of his thunder cloud? 
go to Psalms 81. You want to be protected from your enemies? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Isaiah 54 and 17. You have to pray from the word of God. You said, God, if I call unto you, you will answer me. And show me great and mighty things in which I do not know. That's Jeremiah 33 and 3. You have to speak the words of God on your life. The life that I'm talking about, when I say speak light to your life, I'm talking about speaking the, the, the bread of life, Jesus Christ, to your life. That everyone that you meet, it would ignite a fire of the word in their spirit and in their soul. The Lord says that I'm finished. So I shall not go any further. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. In everything that you say, you will eat the fruit thereof. Think about it before you talk about the next person. Think about your own life and how you're reaping coals of fire upon your head. Because God is a just judge. God don't love people at different levels. God loves all his children the same. Just because you gifted, you just gifted. But God don't, don't God does not show partiality amongst his children. What it says, huh? God will go back and get that one to put him in the 99. God is a faithful God. Am I right about it? If one sheep is lost, God says, I'm going to get that sheep. The Bible says that God loves all of his children with an everlasting love. Am I right about it? God has soul saving power. When we accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior, the entire heaven rejoice for one soul that's been won. That shows you the magnitude and the capacity of how much God loves his children, one child. So don't think yourself special. Don't think yourself special and that you have the, the openness, I want to say, to be able to say what you want to say about people. You be careful what you say. You be careful what you say because God loves all of his children. I felt to tell it to somebody because some of us think that we, we got a VIP with God. God says, I love all my children the same. God says, I am Abba Father. I am the everlasting Father. Our Father, which are in heaven. God does not love his children on different levels. Don't think that you have the gateway to say things about people and you'll get away with it. The Lord is watching you. Just like he watched the child that you're talking about. God is a just judge and he's a righteous savior and he is a father. He carries a rod and he chastises those whom he loves. I'm talking to the people that think they're special. God says, I show no partiality. He says, I hear him in my spirit. He says, watch what you say. And if you said something ill today, God says, pray about what you say and ask for forgiveness and repentance. Decide to change. I know people get on our nerves and people do different things to us. But it's our job to be in his likeness and to be a reflection of Christ. God says that I am the vindicator. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. He said, I myself will repay. You don't have to use your mouth to talk about your enemy. The Lord says, I, the Lord, thy God. He says, I will repay. Don't you know the Lord have vengeance and, and uh, angels? Vengeance angels fighting on your behalf even right now? Angels of the angelic watching your enemies, making sure they don't tap or touch you. All you have to do is serve God. All you have to do is live in the word of God. All you have to do is speak life to your life. You want to see the abundant life that God talks about? You have to speak life to your life. I hope you enjoyed See Last Spot. The virtual view. This is the Life Lessons Edition. Life Lessons. Speaking life to our life. Speaking the bread of life 
to our life, to our own selves, to our family, our spouses, our bosses. I repeat it because I want you to catch it. But not only do I want you to catch it, I need you to keep it. I want you to build on the things that you learn on Sila Spot, the virtual view. This is my set time for this set place. No one will take this seat. I will set in a seat until the Lord says otherwise. I want you to understand why I come on. I come on to give you a word from thus says the spirit of the Lord. God says speak life to your life. Speak life to your life that you will see the light in your life. Oh my God from Zion. Because his word is a light unto my pain. If God says speak life to your life. That you will see the light in your life. Meaning the word of God living in your life. Life lesson. Oh God, got something for you next week. I want to thank you for watching See Last Spot. The virtual view. The life lessons edition. If you would like to sow a seed, you can sow a $44 seed. Why 44? 44 is the number of increase. He's been speaking to me about 44 since last month. Four, 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 the number of increase and overflow. If you want blessed, sow the seed to meet the need. You don't have enough for a bill? Do like I do. Sow that seed. And I promise you, God will meet your need every time. Because God is a faithful God. If you are expecting God to do something in your life, sow a $20 seed. 20, the number of expectancy. Chin, the number of victory, double victory. God, I saw a $20 seed because I'm expecting a double victory in my life on today. Today will be the best day of your life. If you would like to sow a seed, the information is on the screen. I pray over the seeds of the CELA partners all of the time. I get praise reports. My biggest praise report, I'll never forget it. It was one of my first ones. The lady come back. She said, I got my new car. I said, praise God. Because God is faithful. I want you to understand what I talked about today. Speaking life to your life. That you can see the light. The word of God. Actually manifesting in your life. God is Elohim. You can take it down. Anybody that have that flyer. They got what they need. God says, I'm Elohim. God says, I am the living God. God says, my word is living. So God says, and I am the living God. Then I'm trying to give life to your life through my bread of life. Oh, wow. You got to eat this word. You got to live this word. And somebody say, oh, you're just holy as thou. Then you continue being holy. Sometimes your holiness will irritate other people deeply. I see that little quote on Facebook all of the time, but they got some power in that quote. God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. First Peter 1 and 16. You got to eat this word so that when it's time for you to spit out this word, to combat the devil and his demons, witches and warlocks, seances, evil people that's trying to do you something. You come with the power of God. You have to learn how to speak the word to your life. Oh, I want you to catch what I'm saying. I'm getting off. I'm 10 minutes late. I'm getting off. I thank you for watching on today. Share. But most of all, share it with yourself again. Go back and write the scriptures that I said. I'm on here for transformation and transition. I'm not on for proclamation. I'm on for explanation. I'm on for people to meditate on the things that the Lord is saying. I want to see transformation in your life. I want you to experience the abundant life that God has promised you. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to defeat the, 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 the fowls of the devil through the word of God.
by speaking life to your own life, that you would experience the light of the word of life in your life. Thank you so much for watching See La Spot, the virtual review, Life Lessons Edition. May God bless you and keep you real good. I declare and I decree that everything that you're supposed to have that is coming to your hand now, I want everybody to take their hand in. I want you to catch it, catch your blessings. Take it back from the enemy. Know it in your spirit and know it in your soul. Remember to battle through the word of God that everything you're supposed to have, it's coming to you now. On this day, God has made. God bless you. Bless your family. And remember to share the thread. And remember to speak life to your own life. God bless you. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we salute you on this week, O oh great and mighty King, full of majesty and full of your glory. O oh God, we praise you on this week. Great is thy faithfulness. O oh God, we thank you, O oh God, for being a good, good father on this week. Oh God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, for every single God that you have provided for us on this week. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, we thank you right now. Oh God, you are, oh God, our ever father, oh God. You are, oh God, a good, good father. So oh God, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for the provision that you have made. Oh God, everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God, bless them, oh God, indeed. Oh God, allow them, oh God, to be blessed in the city and to be blessed in the field. Bless going out and bless going in. Oh God, bless the weak, oh God, like never before. Oh God, let your holy fire, oh God, touch the weak, oh God, from the front to the back and from the sides, oh God. Oh God, bless the weak, oh God. Bless, oh God, everyone streaming, oh God, from Facebook. Bless them, oh God, indeed. Everyone, oh God, oh see La Serenity Caroline, oh God, bless them indeed. Bless, 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 bless Bless, bless uh, the blood, the blood, the blood, uh, the blood of Jesus, oh God. Uh, over everyone under the sound of my voice, uh, divine protection this week. Uh, divine protection this week. Uh, no evil will come nigh your dwelling on this week. Uh, so God, we thank you, God. Uh, we thank you, God, for your favor this week, oh God. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, for your favor on this week. Uh, oh God, we thank you, God, uh, for blessing us on this week, oh God. Uh, with the right contracts, oh God. Uh, with the right contracts, oh God. Uh, increase favor and overflow on this week, oh God. Uh, Oh God, we thank you right now. Oh God, everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God. I put them, oh God, in the four winds of God. Oh God, I put them in your northern wind, oh God. That the wind of blessings will hit their lives, oh God, like never before. Oh God, I put them in the west wind of God. Overflow and increase, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. I put the name, oh God, in the east wind, oh God. Oh God, may you annihilate, oh God, with the east wind, every one of your enemies, oh God. Oh God, I put the name of God uh, in the south wind, oh God. Uh, the wind of provision, oh God. Uh, may you provide, oh God, all of their needs uh, according to your riches and glory on oh, this week. Uh, so God, I say thank you. Thank you, God, for everyone that's streaming, oh God. Uh, thank you, God, uh, for every seed soul, oh God. Uh, oh, she lost serenity to prayer line, oh God. Uh, oh God, multiply the seeds uh, and make the seeds, oh God, speak for the gates of their enemies. Uh, oh God, divine protection, oh God. Uh, divine protection, oh God. Uh, everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God. Uh, anointed from the top of their head, oh God. Uh, down to the soles of their feet. Uh, divine protection. Oh God, we thank you for your shield of glory. Oh God, we thank you for your breath of glory. We thank you, God, for your mighty ruach. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for your God and your God on this week. Oh God, shine to us on this week, oh God. Let us be a reflection in the image of Christ on oh, this week. Oh God, we thank you for your glory. We thank you, God, for the precious gift. We thank you, 
Quarantine to always being on the scene. Selah Productions Incorporated has birthed Selah Spot, and it is hot, hot, hot. Flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire, as Minister Giovanni Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives, pulling down the Kavad, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Selah Spot, the virtual view, God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercy is renewed every morning. Join us for fire, straight down from heaven, as we go to war through prayer with Sila Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Giovanni Filia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Sila Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to selahprayerline at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Selah Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good, harder not your heart. And allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying heal the land and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing this room. Fresh wind blowing this room. Fresh wind blowing this room. Holy Ghost fire. 